you have to play with absolutely loose and light hands. And you have to touch it gently with your fingertips. But how to develop your fingertips? You develop it through imagination. So you have to have a clear idea of every sound. And every time you play, every single moment, you imagine first the note in your mind that how it's going to sound, then you play it. When you're going to imagine the sound, you're going to imagine it in different timbres, either violins or cellos. And you can color it with the harmony, you can imagine it soft or loud, you can make a voicing when you need to, when you simply stay closer to some parts of violins or cellos and they sound closer, but still piano. So all of these are needed to be developed in order to have this fingertip cleaning beautiful fingertip that can just extract any sound you want from simple touching the key with absolutely relaxed, loose and light hand. Now if you have noticed and you probably <laughs> follow um, my system, we are talking about movements a lot and the movements that I'm talking about is uh, the movements of the musical patterns and if you know the note is higher you're gonna imagine sound to the right if lower than previous note we're gonna imagine to the left and the hands are gonna move our wrists the same way so I showed you many times how I you know I would, would play and I would move my hand my wrist this way and guess what I'm doing the same here but if you have noticed when I play I don't really play like this these movements eventually will be connected to your intonation and like intonation when glissando and resistance between notes so more you want to express through your intonation like emotions, form, phrasing or even sound less you're gonna make external movements with your wrist and more it's gonna be deeper in the internal movements of the muscles. So all this, I'm just trying to say that all these movements I do, but I do this within my muscles. So even if I play like this, I still move everything. But it's like indifferent absolutely amount. But it's still there. And um, this movement helps us a lot for our intonation because without movement, the no intonation you cannot sing without these movements correctly. Uh, to keep our wrist also loose, you know, because our wrist will breathe inside. So, you imagine sounds, violins, the cellos, you imagine it in soft sound, you imagine with glissando between notes, and you connect it with your you express it with the same wrist movements, but everything is very, very small. Okay.